Good morning, Team McCullough. Today is Wednesday, June 7th, 2023, and we will now begin our day together with morning announcements. Please stand quietly and respectfully for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We will now have a moment of silence to think about what we are going to do to make the McAuliffe School a safe and happy place for all students and staff. So I forgot a staff birthday yesterday down in fourth grade. Miss Frias celebrated her birthday. Hope that you had a great birthday, Miss Frias. And we do have some to celebrate today. In room 113, it is Joe's birthday. And in room 207, we have Azzy celebrating her birthday. We also have Miss Bahu, our reading intervention teacher, celebrating her birthday today. I hope that all three of you have great birthdays. Moving to some of our summer birthdays and we're on July 2nd, and Heloisa in room 201 and Keith in room 201 both celebrate their birthdays. On July 3rd, we have a bunch of birthdays. We have Allison in room 206, Marcellus in 116, Mia in room 202, Maya in room 117, and in Shira in room 203. And then on the 4th of July, Benjamin down in room 007 celebrates his birthday. Happy birthday to all of you over the summer. Looking at our National Days calendar, today is a good one. It is chocolate, ice cream day. I love ice cream, especially as we're moving into the summer. The weather hasn't been great for it lately, but it's going to get good. And what better than a classic chocolate flavor for your ice cream? Now, before we go any further, we have to talk about Charlie and the Chocolate Factory because they made it into the factory... We've met Willy Wonka. He seems like a fancy man. They've gone through all these twists, turns, down a slope, and now they're at the chocolate room. But the thing that's got me thinking is the sign in the lobby. What is going on in this factory? I don't know what is somebody, somebody's begging somebody not to do something. It looks like somebody's in a river. What is going to happen next in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? We're going to have to keep on reading to find out. And speaking of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, yesterday, Miss Sargent asked us about the book and she asked us about who got the first ticket. If you said Augustus Gloop, you got the answer right. Your name's on the wheel. We're going to spin it now and find out who our winner is. Okay, here we are at the wheel, ready to spin and find out who our winner is for this week's Tuesday Trivia. And the winner is Patrick in room 205. Okay, Team McCullough, I'm a little disappointed. Why didn't anybody tell me I had ice cream all over my face? How embarrassing. I'm all cleaned up. Anyway, congratulations to the winner. Be out for the lookout. Be on the lookout for your prize in your teacher's mailbox. Don't worry if you didn't win this week. We have two more Tuesday Trivias coming up this school year. Maybe you'll be the next lucky one. Third graders, you're going on a field trip today and tomorrow. Please remember your star behavior on the bus and at the Waterworks Museum. I hope that you have a great time and can't wait to hear all about the trip this evening, we have McCullough Cuts happening in the gym from 4 to 7. First come, first serve, Miss Tara and her friend are going to be giving out free haircuts. There will be pizza. You'll come in, put your name on the list. We'll get you caught up and get the, that haircut. So yesterday, we announced the winner of our ST Math Main Mystery Challenge, and that was Team Velma. Something we haven't done is posted the pictures of our most recent 100% club that Gigi came and visited a few weeks ago. So here they are.
Now I know we have a bunch of more of you who have finished your journeys. Hopefully Gigi will be coming by sometime soon so that you can get your picture taken and be featured on the morning announcements. Don't worry if you haven't finished yet, let's keep Gigi moving for the rest of this school year. I think that's all of our announcements for today. Remember, McCullough students are stars. That means we strive to do our best. We take responsibility. We're always positive and kind and we respect ourselves and others. If everybody remembers to be a star today, then we'll have a wonderful Wednesday. It is Wednesday. We'll have a wonderful Wednesday. Have a great day, McCullough School.